Hello, hello, Nick here, and uh, I have been playing Kerbal Space Program 2. It is an absolute mess, but I am enjoying myself in it. And I decided to make an attempt at uh, the land speed record or whatever there is. It's, uh, I think a land speed challenge or something. I saw some people doing it, and I figured I would try to design my own craft and give it a go. So this is the Peregrine mark one and this is it in all its glory 17 engines in total uh no parachutes we slow down using magic actually uh i have th thrusters hidden behind some of these uh aerodynamic nose cones that i i'll pop open uh when it's time to slow down uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the beast. This is the beast. This is it for now. So, uh, let's go and, uh, launch and see what happens. There's a little bit of luck in trying to, uh, remain straight on the runway. So we'll see what happens. Let's turn on my lights here. Oh yeah, look at that ground effects going. Oh yeah, baby. So it looks like we got Bob in here. Uh, I think I have up to, we can do up to five uh, people in here. So, uh, I'm using action groups. Action group manager. So I have some action groups set up here. And, uh... Yeah, we got quite a f Oh, did I have to have this set up properly? I think I have it set up properly. I don't know. Uh... Let's go. Let's uh, hit this bad boy and uh, let's see what happens. Let's take off the brakes. Boom. Goal is to get over 500 uh, meters a second. That is uh, our goal with this bad boy. Well, we're uh, we're ripping it. We're already uh, kind of veering off. Oh, this is a bad one. This is a bad one. Can we correct it at all? A little bit. Okay, we're going towards the other one. Oh, we'll see what happens. Once we get to over five, oh, we got 500. Let's uh, cut it off there. Okay, a little bit of lag. Now let's hit our reverse thrusters. Oh yeah, there we go. We're slowing down, we're slowing down. All right, will we make it? Will we make it? I'm gonna enable the brakes soon. Woo, this is getting hairy. Enable those brakes. Oh. Oh, yes. That was a success. Bob is still alive. Bob is still alive. The vehicle is intact. And look at that view. With the moon coming up, rising there. Looking awesome getting hit by the sun. Oh, that is cool. That, this is screenshot worthy. And uh, there's an annoying thing here where this arrow GUI comes up when you use default screenshot button in Steam. So that would take two screenshots. But that is a view. That is a view. Oh, I, oh, I have to put another uh, break here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good run. So let's recover this craft. Recover vessel. Confirm. We hit 535 meters a second. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. And uh, oh, I thought that was 6.69 G, but it's actually 6.6 G. The G looks like a 9 there. Well, nice. Either way, pretty close. All right. So I think that was a success. Um... Close. Recover vessel. Confirm. Confirm recovery. Oh, it's already recovered? Okay. So I guess we'll just go to vehicle assembly building from here. Alright. Um let's load our uh let's load our bad boy here. Uh so this is our auto saved one. That was the latest one we were using. And I realized that I can put um, one of these guys 
me move this here. So in case you're wondering why I'm using this nose cone instead of like a more uh, cone nose cone is because I found with this one I had a little bit more stability. I tried a, the different ones uh, and I found this one worked pretty good. So I stuck with it and we're just kind of brute forcing our way. We got like a lot of power. Um, I want to grab uh, this. Yeah, just like that. And we gotta rotate it the right way. Here we go. Okay. Let's get rid of that and put this on here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We have a another another thing to slow us down, which is pretty sweet. Um. I think I should get fuel from the main. Uh, from this fuel tank, I think it should. I'm not sure. I think it should cross feed through here, right? Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, I have like a lot of fuel lines running into these small fuel tanks that are holding all these rockets here. And, and then uh, I'm using stack separators it seems to launch these off really nicely. And um, yeah, I've got this big ass bad boy back here. And. Uh, Let's go for another run. Let's see uh, what happens. Uh, let's launch. Let's uh, launch. We hit, well, we hit 535 and we have a little bit more stopping speed now. So I want to try to go faster if possible. Let's do it. Boom. Stabilizer rings here to try and help uh, keep things intact. Oh, we're really going off course here on this one. All right. Oh man, we are going really fast. running at 3090 and now uh, with the uh, more engines things get a little intense i got quite a few engines going right um okay what did we miss uh yes the struts here are missing so that is going to create some instability so we gotta restrut this oh no 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 oh, let's do this we don't want symmetry on. Find having symmetry uh, on for uh, adding struts is usually a bad idea in most situations. Um, in certain cases, it works really nicely, but in most cases, it just does not. So I find the best thing to do is just strut everything individually. And just try to make it look decent. Okay. Right. Good enough. Um, yeah, okay. That should make a good difference. Because that was... Uh, let's save this. Let's do this as the Mark II. Oh, that's right. Mark II. Do it as the Mark II. Save it. Okay. Let's give it a new go. Let's see what happens. Now we should uh, go a little straighter because that one side won't be flopping around. All right. All right. All right. Valentina's going for this one. All right, Valentina. Let's see what happens. You go, girl. Get it. All right, Valentina. Doing pretty good. Holy shit. Yeah, we're doing really good. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. Ah, uh, shit. We rolled. We rolled. Ah. Oh. All right, let's go. Let's 
get the lights on. Oh man, we might make it. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not making it. We're not making it. Oh, maybe. Maybe. See what happens. Oh. Valentina's still alive. Valentina is still alive. We might do it. We might make it. Slowing down pretty good. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, we're close. We hit 551. That's pretty damn good. And I think we could have made that. We just had some kind of uh, failure there. We can do it. We can do it. I'm trying to run this straight. Compensating with our stabilizers. We're going pretty good. I watch my. I gotta watch my speed now. That'd be nice when the joystick support is added. That way, uh, you can be a little bit more precise with the inputs. Pretty good slowing down here. Doing really good now. Gonna engage start engaging the brakes. Oh yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! Look at the glowing engines there still let's get a picture of that oh my god yes what a success valentina ah oh, she crushed it all right let's recover the vessel confirm 547 meters a second that is insanely fast holy shit uh part advanced photonic generation system okay some of our lights went out that's all right but we made it we made it highest altitude three meters we even got some air um we covered eight kilometers eight kilometers eight g is the highest amount of forces we encountered that was a pretty intense run eight g run we hit 547 meters a second that is our personal best so far at the uh, land speed challenge. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.